This will be the sixth and hopefully finally final disc in the Rife System video series. This one will deal with how to burn the frequencies on a CD. What you do depends on what sort of files you have, what you're starting with. This is a set of cancer frequencies that are in the form of wave files. In this case, you'll burn a music CD, and these will be played like music. Now, if you convert the wave files to MP3 files and want to play them that way, you'll have to burn a data disk not a music disc and then use it in a player that's capable of playing mp3 files but for my purposes today I'll do the normal which for me is WAV files I'll put a CD in my drive and what should happen is that it will bring up the CD burning program when it detects that blank CD. And here it is. Windows Media Player. Now here's, here's the burn list over here, but we have to populate it with the frequencies. So I'll go back to that cancer folder that I have and we'll set up a cancer disk here. I click the top frequency in the list and then go down to the bottom of the list hold my shift key down and that gets the whole list. Then I click my left click button and then I grab it and drag it over to the burn list and I can close this. Now you'll notice I want the frequencies from the lowest to the highest and what that click and drag just did was it put all these frequencies from 656 down to 1840 completely out of order. So what I have to do here is I click on 656 or any frequency that's out of order hold the shift key, go down to 1840, then I left click and drag them up so now the list is in the proper order. The other thing is under options. Uh, you'll see it, it's already set for audio CD but here you go to more burn options and here where my cursor is you can see a ch the box is checked burn CD without gaps and that's important they always they also call this <clears throat> disk at once and that's the way you want to burn it the reasons for this are you'll feel the lower frequencies much more than you feel the high frequencies and what you want to do is when you start playing one of these CDs you set your volume you go from zero up to where you can feel this it gets uncomfortable then you back it off a little bit but you want to do it on the lowest frequency of the CD then through experience I've found that as the frequencies change you might want to turn your volume up just slightly each time so you get the same feel from each frequency and this way you know you're getting the right treatment. Now if you were to put a two second silence between each of these tracks your body would adjust to the silence and then when the next frequency came in it would really hammer you. So you want these frequencies go to go from one to another to another 
smoothly and then do your volume increases. So the next thing I have to do is just click the start burn button and then the CD will burn itself. That's really all that's to that. Um, if you use MP3s, you're going to have that problem because there'll be a delay between each MP3 track that plays and you might get hammered. So the only way I can see to do that is I can assemble all the MP3s back to back in a single long file, which I've done, or you can watch your CD counter and each time you see a track is going to end, turn your volume down to zero again and then build it back up when the new track is playing so you don't get hammered. So that's the end of how to create a Rife System CD, how to burn the CD that you need. And remember, if you're using WAV files, it's going to be an audio CD, which is basically music, and the burner program will convert these WAV files into CDA files, they call them, on the CDs. So that's it. Thank you for watching and listening.